What's going on everybody? It's me, JP, and you're watching JP TV. In today's episode of Nakakapagpabagabag Mondays will be about um, mantids. Um, especially the one that is very common, common. In the Philippines, the Harodula species, or I believe it is a Harodula parviceps. But I'm sorry if you can hear my electric fan. That's the only thing that's keeping me cold or cool. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you video clips about my or some of my hunting experience with specimens right now and I have a few right now and some of them just molded I'm gonna show you in a bit <laughs> and yeah all right so these are the mantids that I've told you that um just already molted or parang lang sila nag molt so I believe they are almost adults sub adults Wait lang, I'll show you what's inside. Ayan o, kakabalat na lang. Ayan yung exoskeleton. And I believe, she, nag re pa lang siya. Ayan. Na-disturb siya. <laughs> And this one, ayun, nadurog na yung exoskeleton niya. Wait lang, papakita ko. Go! A freshly molted Harodula species. Mm -hmm, look at that. It's so thin. It's so thin. All right, just stay there. And this is the exoskeleton. So mantids shed their exoskeleton like this in, like um six to ten times it depends on their species but usually this type of mantis only molts about um, between six to eight before they reach adulthood and then after that they will mate so I think this one is just is so wobbly parang hindi pa siya hindi pa masyado matigas yung exoskeleton niya pero hindi ko naman siya masyadong ginagalaw kaya ako lang siya magnaka dyan pero again ito yung exoskeleton niya and then nagmumold sila for about 6 to 8 times then after that adult na sila hayaan ko lang yan dyan alright so ito siya na-explore niya yung braso ko So I just showed you um, two of my mantids or mantis, praying mantis na nagbalat or nagmolt ng kanilang exoskeleton. And when a mantis molts or kapag nagbabalat sila, never, ever, ever para sa mga keepers dyan, never ever 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 disturb them while they are molting because um, for example nakas naka hang silang ganyan and then naraglag they will get injured or they will get parang they will get stuck on that position kasi sobrang ang lambot ng exoskeleton nila and then parang mahanginan lang titigas na silang for example nagkaroon na ako dati ng mantis na baloktot yung kamay so I have to parang kailangan ko pang subuan yung mantis na yun almost everyday para lang mabuhay siya and then mag siya to the next instar para lang umayos yung balat niya at mabuhay siya ng normal <laughs> So yeah, huwag na huwag nyo gagawin or gagalawin yung matis nyo kapag nagmumult. And again, um, isa pang tip, 
um, yung mga lalagyan nila kailangan mataas para kasi nga nagahang sila pag nagmumort so kailangan ng space pag bababa na yung ano nila yung sarili nila bababa na pag may balat na sila so kailangan hindi sumasaga sa kahit ano meron namang nangyayari females as a usually or kahit sa males basta adult na lang uh, mahaba yung pakpak nila so pag tumama sa tissue sa stick or sa sahig man lang ng container nyo nila madideform yung wings nila parang buhay nga sila pero pangat sya pakpak nila ayun natin yun sa mga pet mantis na So, ingatan talaga natin sila. As much as possible, malaki yung bahay nila sa kanila parang 3 times their height, 4 times their height. As much as possible. Minimum na yun. Minimum na yun. So, yeah. Um, if you need more... I'm not an expert with mantis. I'm just an enthusiast. I really love keeping them. So, if you have any ideas pang dagdag sa mga sinasabi ko, just comment down below. I would gladly appreciate that. And, just watch my um, hunting experience right now. Thanks for watching. Antids normally go or hide or live in this type of plants. So, parang pwede silang magtago or so they can ambush their food using their pincers or their pinching arms. <laughs> Alright, yan, yeah, ganyan. Mga ganito, ayan. Oh. Parang magtatago sila sa ganyan and then pag may lumapo, they're gonna ambush them or attack them. Look at that awesome mantis right there. Uh-huh, right there. There's one right there. There's one right there. And it's a nymph. Alright, I got him. Come on, focus, focus. I got him. It's a nymph and it's so full. Focus, come on, focus. There you go. Looking awesome. Alright, so this mantids or this Utica is laid by a Harudolo species. Malaki siya, about an inch or two. So, in protective case na to, pinoprotectahan yung actual eggs ng mantis. And after like two to three months, depends on the temperature, lalabas yung mga babies dito sa mga butas butas na yan. Ayan. So, this is like. Uh, parang tapos na siya. Lumabas na yung babies niya. But it's a good example of Tika. Of Haridula species. My nerve while catching insects, especially mantids, is that people are looking at you and then they're like thinking, um, why is this 5 foot 9 guy doing in that place? And they get weirded out. That's the, that's the most not so fun part of this collecting mantid collecting I'm looking at this malungai trees looking for mantids and those kids right there they're looking at me like what the hell <laughs> thank you jeepney for the noise all right so i'm gonna start all right so this malungai tree has a mantid right there i don't know if you can see it i don't know if you can see it it's right. Ow, 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 there's an ant, 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 ow, 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 there's an ant, ow, ow. Fire ants! Looking awesome. 
Manted collecting. <laughs> Another almost sub adult. And I think this is like L3 or L4. In Star 4. I hate those motorcycles. Yeah, so they're awesome. This is a huge one. Come on, focus. Focus. But it can't. There you go. Looking awesome. My mantis collecting is over and I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven mantids. That's a good start for my breeding project. They are all nymphs or sub adult. I have two sub adults. <clears throat> yeah. So they are all Haradura species and I hate it when there are like ants in the places that I'm getting those mantids because I can't go over those trees because they're biting or stinging my feet and I hate that I hate it I got this one I don't have a bag anymore and it's jumping yeah it's a nymph again this is so full he's so oh no no the hell There you go. There he is. Is he a male or a female? I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Look. It's awesome. Focus. Can you focus? No. Yeah. It's a nymph. And yeah. I will just take this um, sub adult back to the wild because it's adult almost adult already so I can or para makapag breed na din siya yung maliliit na lang din ikitin ko for the breeding project so para masubaybayan ko rin yung paglaki nila and ibabalik ko na ito sa wild sa wild sa garden yeah sige 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 you're free again ito rin naman gagawin ko sa mga ibang Mabibreed ko eh. Ibabalik ko sila sa wild. Para mas madami sila. Pwede silang ibalik sa wild kasi they are naturally found in the Philippines. Goodbye my friend. See you soon and your offsprings.